very good welcome uh, friends uh, in this video we'll be talking about transposons and a uh, little bit about transposition uh, or the basic events about transposition now uh, what is transposition as the name suggests it's a uh, changing of position of genes from one place to another place for example you have a DNA inside the DNA you have gene and the gene can be transferred from that place into another place and this is uh, by the means of transposition right now we'll be talking about this transposition basic process now uh, before going to that let us talk about the main events during transposition in any kind of transposition you should have these two or three different things the first thing you should have is definitely a donor DNA in which your target your transposon gene or the gene which is to be transposed which is to be transfer is placed and the second one is the target DNA or the recipient DNA onto which the transposed DNA segment will attach or will will get bind right so these two things are really important one donor from where the transposon, transposon will come and one recipient or target where the, the gene will be incorporated so these two things are really important and in this case what we are looking at you can see the transposon placed in uh, this donor DNA which is in black color and this is in uh, yellow color which is the recipient DNA now the transposon uh, is cut uh, from a particular location site and it comes and attached to this target DNA and this target DNA region is get uh, get it bigger right and uh, but but the donor DNA is get it clipped off but not always this kind of thing is happening because sometimes the transposon that are present is copied so a copy of the transposon, the copy of the gene is transported from there. So the original transposon or the original genetic element is not cleaved in many times. So this is another important thing. So in this picture it is shown that the, the donor DNA loses the part of the gene. But always these things not happen. What happens? They made a copy of that gene from this because we know DNA can make a copy out, uh, out of itself. So it, this DNA can come and attach with it. So everything remains fine in those cases, right? Now another important thing about the transposon we'll be talking in the next slide. So yeah. Now in this slide we are going to see another important feature and that feature is uh, the target DNA's target site. So what will be the major or key players during this transposon? We have seen one donor is needed, one recipient is needed and the stretch of DNA, the transposon or the stretches of DNA what we So what we are looking in this case is uh, uh, the new or important thing uh, is uh, this insertion site on the target DNA okay so very sorry for uh, the mistake what you've made no now here we are having this target DNA and in this target DNA there must be a stretch of sequence a stretch of nucleotide sequence where the transposon must be added now this sequence is really specific for a particular transposon okay so that's another important point in this case now you can see in this case the in this target DNA we're having the ATT site uh, or three nucleotide site where the transposon ORFA or ORFB will be put on to okay now in this case ORFA and ORFB what we are looking in this case is uh, coding for transposes an enzyme which is called transposes and which is the only one key enzyme for this whole transposition now for, for a DNA segment to be transposed there are several events to be done one is that, that that stretch of DNA should be cleaved from each of the site that is the first point second thing is uh, it, it has to be uptaken and the third thing is it has to be inserted that means the ligation must be done and also uh, sometimes recombination even can also occur so all these things should be uh, done by this uh, stretch of single short stretch of DNA now they need to arrange all these things on their own and the enzyme complex which is the trans which is called the transposes is acting to do these things very properly okay now another important thing I want you to notice is uh, this IR regions in this uh, element so th if this is the stretch of element which is need to be transposed uh, so think this is a long stretch of DNA but this this middle stretch of the DNA is our transposon now this transposon is flanked with uh, these regions of IR which is called the inverted repeats now, the inverted repeat means uh, uh, that stretch of DNA sequences which is invertly yeah, in inversely uh, repeated uh, over time inversely repeated over nucleotide sequences so this inverse repeat uh, actually telling us where the transposon actually resides most of the time 
in fact uh, this inverted repeats are flanked onto this uh, transposable elements that's a very very important uh, notice right so we have the transposable element uh, in between the inverted repeats and it will clip from this inverted repeats including those inverted repeat positions and it will take uh, that stressed uh, segment of sequence and uh, that will code for transposes definitely code for transposes and another another type of enzymes which help it to be established which, which help it to be incorporated onto the target dna and it recognize uh, its uh, specific site uh, to be attached and then it will attach itself to the particular site as you can see in this case it attaches itself into this site and both of the site is consisting of this inverted repeats as you can see in both the place it is following by this inverted repeats so that is really important and another thing you can notice is that in the opposite orientation we are having ATT ATT which is a special uh, sequence now uh, right after that the inverted repeat again consisting of this stretch of uh, regions because now this ATT regions can also work as the inverted repeats because it can found in both the directions right so this is another very very important part about the transpositions and transposons okay so uh, let us look at here for example this is another uh, case of transposition now you have seen in the previous case where in this type of case that in this kind of transposition what if a what if b uh, what if means open reading frame a and open reading for frame b both of them uh, consist or uh, 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 code for transposes and few of the enzymes which are important for this transposition but uh, they usually do not can carry any structural genes for with themselves uh, in the stretch of dna but sometimes they can carry different stretch of genes uh, irrespective of this uh, transposes enzyme coding regions right sometimes they can really do this and in those cases uh, or most of the time what uh, they can carry is uh, the, um, the 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 gene sequences which can code for uh, the resistance of uh, different antibiotics in case of bacterial cell now in this bacteria uh, of different transposes like tn5 tn9 tn10 these are the famous transposons uh, which are uh, being illustrated here now in this case we can see in this tn5 uh, this 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 is uh, flanked by a sequence which is called is this is not ir but this is is now what is signifies it signifies the insertion sequence now the insertion sequence as you can see in this case insertion sequence can be different uh, types like in this case insertion sequence is 50 is 15 both the cases are in the opposite direction and in the second case in case of tn9 transposon both of these insertion sequence are facing at the same direction so it can be in opposite direction facing same direction facing whatever they, they can be and in between themselves they are having uh, the gene sequence which code for uh, the transposes enzyme because that is needed that is the most important part all of uh, the transposons must code for that but sometimes uh, like this kind of transposon TN5, TN9 they can also code for few genes uh, they, they can also carry some genes which can also, co uh, also code for uh, the proteins or uh, the sequences or proteins uh, which, uh, which uh, help them to Go, grow up resistance against uh, the b different antibiotic like canamycin uh, and streptomycin and all these things right so in this case you can see uh, here in TN5 it carries uh, the resistance gene for canamycin streptomycin and, and this these different types of antibiotics so this also help them uh, for for their uh, life saving purposes right so these transposons not only helping them for carrying out or for transferring the genetic element from one place to another place uh, from interspecies or intraspecies uh, sometimes uh, uh, between different species horizontal gene transfer done with the help of these transposons but it also helps them to communicate the gene acquired as a result of the resistance growth right for example the bacteria leaves here so that bacteria uh, for example let me take a color here in this case yeah uh, a bacteria leave uh, leaves there and the bacteria is uh, have gained uh, the gene or resistant gene for the for for canamycin now uh, say this is another bacteria another species of bacteria uh, which are flanked around but this bacteria gained this gene for uh, for canamycin resistant now what uh, this bacteria try to do is to circulate this gene among its its species uh, or member of its own species or sometimes a member of different species to carry on their life on planet earth because everybody try to do this and in this case what uh, this bacteria will do is to, is to try to circulate this gene in onto its neighbor now how uh, it can establish this 
it can take this uh, uh, part cleaved as a result of transposition and take this part out which is called a transposes now it can uh, help it to be entered into another cell now in this kind of steps by uh, by gathering uh, this uh, resistant gene portions in between the insertion sequences of its genetic element it can easily cleave from this insertion sequence parts sorry from this insertion sequence part it can take it and it can incorporate into the gene which is not having any kanamycin resistance and whenever it get this gene as a result it can eventually uh, have the kanamycin resistant gene and it can uh, step it forward uh, to its offspring via normal bacterial division right so this is a very interesting way of spreading their uh, uh, their antibiotic resistance nature into the en environment okay now that is really really important <coughs> sorry and another very important thing about here uh, what we have seen in, is this inver insertion sequence this insertion sequence is also sequence specific as you can see in case of TN5 it is IS50 in TN9 it is IS1 TN10 it is IS10 that means it is varying from one species to another species and one type of bacterial cell uh, to another type of bacterial cell and this insertion sequence is also important because from here on the DNA segment will be cut and it can be uh, taken and inserted onto the recipient chromosome right or recipient cell uh, DNA so that's why uh, insertion sequence is also important so let's sum up all these things so transposition means uh, the transfer of short segment of gene from one bacteria to another bacteria or from uh, in, or, or in, inside one bacterial chromosome into some other regions of uh, the same DNA segment so it, it may not always that the bacteria will uh, leave this DNA and it will try to attach it into another bacteria it can also happen in between same bacterial cell from uh, one region the transposon will be cut and attached to the another region in, in the same DNA of the same bacteria it can also be possible now the second thing for this transposition you must need one donor DNA from where the transposon will, will be cleaved and one recipient DNA in onto which the DNA will be incorporated and you also need uh, some special uh, specific sequences onto where this transposition will be added and uh, for for this addition purposes we must have two different things either inverted repeats or insertion sequences insertion sequences are found in this TN uh, type of transposons as you can see 